the land of Kerala, a lush green state in southwest India. A biodiversity hotspot, it lies on the lap of the Western Ghats chain of mountains, historically known for its marine resources also. This typical eastern boundary upwelling system in the southeastern Arabian Sea has ensured livelihoods for thousands of fishers from time immemorial. Karnappan, a fisher in Kollam district of Kerala, is venturing into the Arabian Sea with his trawl boat. It is the beginning of the new fishing season for him after the trawl ban during southwest monsoon. This season offers him bumper catches, especially the highly valuable shrimps. But this time, the bag of trawl net is full of churi. Churi literally means an object that causes itching. It is the vernacular name for jellyfish. Though jellyfishes are not uncommon in the Indian coast, the frequency of blooms and jellyfish populations have increased substantially in the recent past, in tune with global trends. For the fishers, the issues connected with jellyfish bloom are multifarious. The blooms clog their nets, lessen the resources available. Moreover, the blooms reduce the fishing days as they stop fishing when the sea is full of jellyfish. In the backwaters and estuaries of India, jellyfish, especially Acromitus flagellates, is becoming a serious threat, often hampering fishing operations totally. Their increasing population and expanding blooms all along the west coast of India is a serious concern during the summer months. <laughs> The beaches in Kerala are world famous tourism destinations. The presence of blooms near the shore often pose problems for bathing and tourism sport. The dead jellyfishes deposited on the beach not only adversely impact tourism, it affects the aesthetics of these serene beaches also. India exports jellyfish every year, but during the last 20 years, export has remained at an average of a meager 1,092 tons. The export earnings from jellyfish are negligible compared to the long-lasting impacts of jellyfish bloom on ecosystem and ecosystem services. In a country like India, where thousands of fishers depend on marine fisheries for livelihood, promotion of jellyfish fisheries will be an ecological disaster. All over the Indian coast, the larger predatory fishes at the top of the food web are declining continuously due to overfishing. While the predators of jellyfish decline, new forms of food webs are developing in the ocean. These new conditions are ideal for the jellyfish to make a joyride. Increased inflow of nutrients from the land led to eutrophication of coastal waters. This coupled with increase in sea surface temperature due to climate change, 
has resulted in the occurrence of harmful algal blooms. In many Indian states, swarms of jellyfish have hindered aquaculture operations, affecting the livelihood of hundreds of fishers. In a fast-growing economy like India, coastal developmental activities are in full swing. This includes the ever-increasing presence of artificial sea walls to protect the coast, which can serve as nurseries for jellyfish. Hard structures along the coastal waters provide better habitat for jellyfish to reproduce and complete their life cycles. Here we have a strange phenomenon of jellyfish and humans competing for the same resources, fish. In a country like India, where marine capture fisheries is already reaching its sustainable level and the ecosystems are under multiple pressures, including that of climate change, the growing menace of jellyfish blooms demands serious attention. For that, we need a holistic perspective on the issue of managing jellyfish blooms. We need collective action in sustainably managing oceans and its resources for future. There are no quick fix solutions in larger marine ecosystems and therefore we need to have local and global actions for sustainable ocean management. We need to be part of climate strike, we need to be part of actions and policy involving controlling overfishing, eutrophication and also we need a better understanding and a better science for jellyfish management. We need focused research on understanding jellyfish blooms and its dynamics. Above all, a better awareness that jellyfish, an organism without brain, by its mere presence shows us ways to think how we manage oceans for the generations to come. Jellyfishes dominated the world's ocean 600 million years ago, and a collective human responsibility is not to recreate that history, but to create history by ensuring healthy oceans for all life in the ocean and for future generations. Mm -hmm.